Before the 1960s, you really had no idea what was in a box of cereal or a can of beans you bought. Peanuts, too much salt, chemicals. If you had a food allergy, you had no way to know what foods to avoid until you experienced a reaction. And then in 1966, Congress passed a law declaring that informed consumers are essential to the fair and efficient functioning of a free market economy. Packaging labels became required. Today, the average citizen knows more about what's in their food than companies, critical infrastructure, or the government know about what's in their software. Software is made of a jumble of hundreds of old and new pieces of code, untracked with unknown origins. On average, 75% of software is made up of reused code. And where does this mysterious software go? Well, pretty much everywhere. Cars, refrigerators, medical devices, fighter jets, water treatment plants, communication satellites, everywhere. Most of the time, this software is just doing its job. But when a hacker identifies how to manipulate software vulnerabilities, all systems that use that code become vulnerable and create back doors that allow hackers to take control of that system. This is what happened in December 2021. An obscure but common piece of code called Log4j had a vulnerability that could be exploited. Millions of devices around the world were compromised. There was a scramble to fix the code, but no one knew all the places the code had been used. Millions of organizations, companies, and individuals had Log4j and didn't know it because they didn't have an inventory of all the software on which they relied. Since they didn't know if they had Log4j, they didn't know to patch it. That's where a Software Bill of Materials, or SBOM for short, comes in. Much like an ingredient list for food, an SBOM is an inventory of the components that make up a computer program down to its most basic level. Once created, these SBOMs can be continuously updated, allowing known vulnerabilities to be identified in real time. The SBOM does not eliminate vulnerabilities, but it does manage risk. An SBOM would have let consumers know if and where they had Log4j code so they could take then the needed actions. As our health, welfare, security, and prosperity become ever more dependent on software-enabled devices, SBOMs are critical to the risk management process to make our connected world secure through transparency.